First Lady also marked this day in a letter to Newtown. Here's what she wrote in the Hartford Current, the newspaper there, quote, I want you to know that this is just the beginning. As my husband has said, in the coming weeks, he will use all the powers of his office to engage citizens from across the country to find ways to prevent tragedies like this one. And please know that every minute of every day, we are thinking of you and praying for you and holding you and your families in our hearts as you begin the slow and wrenching work of healing and moving forward, end quote, from the First Lady to those in Newtown. We should add, the NRA also held a moment of silence this morning at 9.30 a.m. for the 20 children and the six adults slaughtered inside Newtown Schoolhouse. Hours later, the NRA spelled out its plan to prevent similar massacres in the future. One of the solutions from Wayne LaPierre, he says, put guns in every school now. And does anybody really believe that the next Adam Lanza isn't planning his attack on a school he's already identified at this very moment? How many more copycats are waiting in the wings for their moment of fame? The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. I call on Congress today to act immediately to appropriate whatever is necessary to put armed police officers in every single school in this nation. So that is some of what Wayne LaPierre said. It's also making news what he didn't say. Didn't touch gun control, didn't talk about the, the gun show loopholes, didn't talk about those huge ammunition clips. Instead, the NRA deflected the attention to other debates, other issues. But my next guest here is a longtime gun supporter from Texas. She is Susanna Grasha Hupp. She believes she could have saved her parents' lives if only she had not left her gun in the car. This was more than 20 years ago when she took her parents to Luby's Cafeteria. This is back in Killeen, Texas. A man ran, ran his pickup into this cafeteria open fire, killing almost two dozen people, including Susanna's parents. I want to welcome her. She's former Texas State Representative Susanna Grasha Hupp, joining me now from Austin, Texas, wrote a book called Thank You, from, Thank you, from Lubies to the Legislature, One Woman's Fight Against Gun Control. So Susanna, welcome. I just want to hear more about what happened back in 1991. Take me inside this cafeteria. This gunman starts shooting. Your mother and father get, are killed. You felt hope, helpless, hopeless, I imagine. Well, it was extremely frustrating. Um, I used to carry a gun, and at that time it was illegal in the state of Texas, but I was convinced to carry one by an assistant DA in the Houston area who told me, you know, he said, Susanna, you don't see this stuff every day, but I do. So I carried one illegally for a number of years. Uh, my parents and I were at this local cafeteria in the middle of a beautiful day. Hmm. Um, this man drove his truck through a window and very methodically began executing people. But a few months earlier, I had begun leaving my gun in my car because I was worried about losing my license to practice chiropractic. Hmm. A number of people, a number of victims had left their guns in their car that day. But of course, now we have changed that law in Texas and we can protect ourselves. But we brought you on, of course, because of what happened uh, in Colleen, but also because of Newtown. And we heard from the NRA today. Uh, you know, Wayne LaPierre says, let's put guns in every school. I read that you have two small children. You say, yes, let's arm the teachers uh, or perhaps have an armed guard in each of these schools. My question then to you would be, are, are you not afraid that that would lead to more violence? Oh, heavens. Well, first of all, let me correct you. I don't have two small children. I've got two big boys two, that two are in high boys. school, but I just picked them up. Yes, and they would be just as vulnerable as the kindergartners. Um, I have firmly held that our teachers should be allowed to carry, and quite frankly, it frustrates the heck out of me that everyone here in Texas and in many states can protect themselves if they jump through the hoops and get a concealed carry permit. Why is it that my teachers are being treated like second-class citizens? But, but what if the teacher's job is to teach? Crates. What if the teacher doesn't want to be armed? What if you have an armed guard? As I was oh, reading absolutely. back in Columbine, as I was reading absolutely. back in Columbine, there was an armed guard. Just logistically speaking, what if that guard isn't at the right place at the right time and isn't there and can't prevent That's, the shooting? You're making my argument for me. How, That's how is exactly that? why people who. That's exactly why people who want to be able to carry should be able to carry. 
I didn't say arm every teacher. I said anyone who wants to jump through the hoops and get a concealed carry permit should be able to and, and use it or carry it on campus. Let me, let me make something or point something out that's just so painfully obvious to me. Where do all these mass shootings occur? These creeps go to places where they know they can shoot people like fish in a barrel. These mass shootings don't occur at gun shows, the dreaded gun show that I keep hearing so much about. They go to places where they can shoot people like fish in a barrel until the cops, bless their hearts, finally arrive. Well, let's